Hi, my name is Pauline Schwartzman, and I am the Outreach Librarian for English and Film and Media Studies here at the University of Rochester. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that you can use within the Canopy video streaming database. Now, if you've never used Canopy before, or maybe you're not even sure what Canopy is, then I recommend checking out my previous video on this channel. It's all about how to access Canopy, what Canopy is, and how you can watch videos on it. So if you're not really familiar with Canopy yet, uh, definitely go check out that video first and then come back to this one. But if you have used Canopy before and you want to know some other things you can do with it, then definitely stick around for this tutorial. When you open Canopy, you might notice that there is an option to log in or sign up with a personal account. Now, you don't need a personal account just to be able to watch videos on the site. But if you want to be able to do any of the tips and tricks that I'm going to show you in this video, you do need a personal account. So to do so, you would just click on sign up here and then put in your information, your name, email address, and come up with a password. I recommend using your rochester.edu email address. And then once you do that, it will send you a confirmation email and your account will be open. Now, I actually have my own account already. So I'm going to go ahead and log in so I can show you some things you can do on Canopy. When you log into Canopy, you'll notice that it now has your name in the top right corner. And if you click on that, it's going to give you a couple of options. The dashboard is going to show you some recommendations of films based on films you've previously watched, kind of like Netflix. Uh, some people find this helpful and some don't, kind of just depends on your preferences. The watch list feature is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a list of movies that you want to save to watch later. I find this really helpful for if you get a syllabus at the beginning of the semester and find that it has a lot of movies and videos in it that you'll have to watch throughout the semester. You can just go ahead and add those to your watch list and then you'll just have them all organized in one place and it'll save you a lot of time. So let's go back to the home page and I'll show you how to add a movie to your watch list. If you're just browsing in Canopy and you find a film that you wanna to add to your watch list, all you have to do is hover over it and click on my list and it will give you a notification that it's been added. Now, if you're already watching the movie, you can also add it to your list just by clicking on the link here. And again, it'll give you that notification. Canopy also allows you to share movies and videos with other people in the U of R community. To share a movie, all you have to do is be on the movie page and scroll down here where it says share, click on the link, scroll down again, and it'll give you this share link. You can copy and paste this into an email or messaging platform to send to anyone in the U of R community. Just keep in mind that if they're not on campus or using the VPN, they'll just have to log in with their NetID and password. Okay, now this last feature that I'm going to show you, uh, it's going to maybe seem a little bit confusing at first, but I do think it's a really great feature that could be really helpful and save you a lot of time. So this feature, what it does is it allows you to cut out clips from any movie and save that clip. So if you, for example, have a scene from a movie in mind that you want to present to your class, or maybe there is a scene that you're doing a close reading of and you know that you're going to have to watch it a couple times over, Rather than having to find it in the movie every time, you just have to find it once and then it'll save it for you. So let me show you how to do this. Let's say that I was watching the movie Gold Rush and I came across this scene and I wanted to save it. So the first step is to click Create Clip Playlist down here and then scroll down. You're gonna have to create a name for your playlist. I'm just gonna call it New Playlist. Click Create. And now in your new playlist, uh, click Edit Playlist. So here is the playlist with the movie you saved. Now to save the specific clip that you wanted, uh, click on Edit. Now you, can, you have to give the clip a title and it just defaults to the name of the movie. You can give a description if you want. Uh, now what you're gonna do is start playing the movie and sort of just drag the progress bar over to where you're pretty sure that the scene begins and ends. Uh, so I happen to know that it starts around 58 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is when I have the progress bar there, for the start time, I'm just gonna click capture. 
And then you can either just let the scene play through to the end or just sort of fast forward to it. And then click capture again for the stop time. And then you're gonna just go here and say save clip. Now, uh, when you go into your home page, uh, you should be able to access just the clip uh, without having to search through the whole movie. So let me show you how you would do that. So now if you're on the home page, you can find your saved clips by going again to your dashboard and clicking on playlists and find the playlist we made, which is this one. And when you click on it and press play, it's just gonna play that clip that we saved. Uh, you can save as many clips as you want from as many movies as you want, and you can even create multiple playlists to organize them. I like to just organize them by movie. I think that's the most helpful way to do it, but it's up to you to find a system that works for you. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to show you today. I hope that this tutorial helped you to learn maybe some new features in Canopy that you weren't aware of before. The River Campus Librarians are here to help, so if you ever have any questions about your research or the library services, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can find the contact info for all of the outreach librarians by going to the Get Help page on the library's homepage. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck with your research.